Hey everyone, I'm Allison. And I'm Bryce, and we're, we're Better, Better Half, Half Reviews. Reviews. And today we are talking about Calico. It's designed by Kevin Rust, and the art is by Beth Sobel. It's published by AEG and Flat Out Games. In Calico, you're patching together a quilt for some of the toughest critics on earth, the cats. So, gather the most points to try to be the winner. All right, let's take a look. Here we have a beginner setup for Calico. It's a beginner setup because they suggest these three cats and they suggest these objective tokens in that pattern for the beginner setup. However, for the standard setup, you would take all six of your objective tokens, shuffle them up, flip four over, choose three to play with, and then return the rest to the box. And then the cats will be chosen out differently as well. All the other player boards look the same. They just have different colors, so there are four total player boards in the game. So when you're starting your game, you get to draw two tiles from the bag, and this will make up your hand. Usually you keep this secret, but we'll put it out just so you can see it. Once everybody has drawn their tiles, you'll draw three more tiles, place in the middle of the table, and that'll be the pool of tiles to draw from. The different tiles in the first game, this says triple A and triple B. That means that you want to have three and three of the same design or three and three of the same colors. Or you can try to go for design and color. This one says A, A, B, B, C, C. So you want to go for patterns of two. So two, two, and two of different colors or different designs or both. And finally, this one has the not equal sign. So you want to have all different colors or all different patterns or both. So on your turn, you'll do two actions. First, you'll take one of the tiles from your hand and play it anywhere on your board. And then you'll choose a tile from the pool. Say we'll choose this one. And then you refresh the pool. And then it's the next player's turn. So just for another example, this one you wanna have two, two, and two. So maybe I would go for another pink one with a different pattern. If I wanna go for all of the objectives on here, then I need to try to get two different colors and then get one more of each of these patterns and then one other alternate pattern. Okay, so let's say that you get up to this point in the game. If you take a look at what the goal was for this one, it's two, two, and two. We have filled it up completely and you'll see that we have two pink, two yellow, two purple. So that satisfies the color aspect. And we also got the design. We have two stripe, two polka dot, and two of these shapes. So whenever you complete a pattern, you would get seven points. So if you got just the color, you would get seven. Or if you just got the design, you'd get seven. However, if you get both of those, you get the other number. And so we would get 11 points for this at the end of the game. Something else to note, as you're playing this game, you are also going to be collecting buttons and cats. So whenever you have three matching colors in a row, it doesn't have to be in a straight line, but just connecting, you would earn a button that matches that color. So we would get a purple button for these three. There is a fourth purple that is connected to it and that matches with it. If you had another two purple and they were all connecting, it would still count as just one button. If you had three purples over here, then you could get a second purple button. And then on your board, we also have three of these types of pattern all touching together. And that satisfies the need of Millie to come over to your quilt. So you could put Millie anywhere on one of those three buttons. Buttons and cats score you different points at the end of the game. Every type of button is worth three, and each of the cats have different scores listed on their tiles. So this one's worth three, and the others are worth five and seven. And anytime you get one of each button on your board, you get to place a rainbow token. That's just an additional three points at the end of the game on top of all the tokens or buttons that you've already placed on your board. And something else to note, if you look at the cats, they have the different designs, but none of them have different colors on it. Cats do not care about the colors of the quilt. They care about the designs. So it's all about getting, this one would be five different polka dots that are touching or four with different leaves, etc. So colors can be whatever you want. It's the patterns for the cats that matter. All right, so once you get to the point where everybody's board is completely filled up, now you're going to go ahead and score everything. So each button, again, is worth three points. So we got three buttons, three, six, and nine. And then the different cats are worth different amounts. So this cat's worth three, this cat is worth seven, 
So you count up those, and now you're going to score up your different tiles. So this tile was the one where you needed three and three. If you look, I have different patterns going on, so I didn't get the patterns. I would have needed three of this type of pattern and three of another type. But I did get three purple and three pink, so I would get seven points. On this one, you needed to get all things different. If you notice, I have a lot of different stripes that are the same, so that didn't work out for the patterns, but I have one of every color, so I do get 10 points. And on this one, like we said earlier, you needed the two, two, and two. We got two of each different color, and then we had two of each different pattern, so we would get the secondary score of 11 points. Add it all up, and hopefully you won. Whoever got the highest amount, will get the master quilter token and you can put it on top of your quilt. And that is how you play Calico. And if this makes it a little bit easier for you, they do include a score sheet. Calico also has two variations. One of them is called the family variant. In this variant, you put your goal tiles face down and just go for collecting cats and buttons. And at the end of the game, that's what you score. The other variant is for two players to take out some of the variability in drawing tiles you'll take out one full set of 36 tiles so that will be each color pattern combination you'll take one of each of those out also for a little more fun they added calico achievements as you play different games of calico you can track your progress and say if you earn 60 plus points in a game you could mark that off if you're in 80 plus points in a game whatever you mark those off track it here as you gain little cat heads on your tracker, you become more of a quilt master. And so the achievements can add rules restrictions or certain things for different cat combinations. All right, so that's how you play the game. Let's talk about how we feel about it. Bryce, what are some of the pros? Well, I like the variability in the game. There's multiple cats to choose from and you only have three out at a time. And then the starting objective tiles, you shuffle them, you choose some, and then you can choose the layout. So my objectives might be different than yours. And even if we have the same ones, they might be in different orders. So I like, I don't know, there's just a lot you can do with the game. And it always feels different because, you know, the objectives aren't the same. Yeah, so there's so many different tiles with different colors and patterns. And there's different mixtures of them. So you never know what you're going to see when. So every game is definitely different. So what are some of the pros for you? I love the components of this game. So I love that it came with a dual layer board for you to put the little tiles into so that you make your nice little quilt. Um, I was really surprised that the retail version came with the cool little cloth bag. I thought that was maybe gonna be like a Kickstarter exclusive when I opened it up, I was like, sweet. And plus it's purple and I love purple. <laughs> One thing I will say though is I am a little disappointed about the storage of it. Like, they just, you have the tiles in the cloth bag, there's a couple little bags, and, you know, I'd like to separate out all the cats, but you really can't. You have to kind of combine some bags, and it's just all kind of floating in the box, and I feel like there's just a lot of little pieces that can get mixed up together. Yeah, I feel like there weren't enough bags, but I mean, like, that is something you can easily remedy. We've just been too lazy to remedy it. But yeah, I would have liked a little bit of a better storage option or just more bags in the box, but I'm sure we can find some. It's a minor complaint, but... Yeah. But um, I did have another positive. I really love the artwork of this. So Beth Sobel did a fantastic job. Like, the cats look really cool, and I just... I love all the different patterns and, like, the colors that she picked for the quilts um, are, like, basically all my favorite shades of all these different colors. So I just love looking at it. <laughs> I actually... I'm a cat and dog person, um, but I actually like the backstories of all the cats. Yes! <laughs> and so you can just, like... Oh, we played with Rumi today. Let's see what Rumi's up to. And they live in Oregon. Yeah. Where I we're love, from, kind I love of. That they did that. Like, they didn't have to. But I love that they picked people's actual cats and gave them a little backstory. That's such a cool little, like, detail to add into it. Yeah. It's, I don't know. It just kind of makes it a little more fun, too. Mm -hmm. You're like, come here, little kitty. So then, uh, what are some of the cons for you, then, besides the storage? Well... Um, I think the biggest one for me is that it feels like there's a lot of luck involved because you're drawing out tiles and you only have two tiles in your hand at any given time. And if 
you and then you have to play one and then draw one and so if you play one and there's no good tiles to pick up then you're just stuck holding a bad tile the rest of the game and you're hoping that you could play your other tile and be able to pick up a tile you need mm. so eh, just i don't know there's sometimes where it just feels like you're you're really just stuck and you're not getting any tiles you need yeah i do hate when that happens but i mean there are spaces around your board where you can kind of utilize it where it doesn't affect your main objectives but maybe you could reach for something else but yeah i've had it where i'm stuck with something and there's one time we were playing and we just kept drawing green tiles i'm like i need a different color and so finally i had already like picked my tile and i draw on the back to put another one down and then finally there's a different color than green and of course the other person's going to pick it up before i could ever see it and i was like no <laughs> but yeah well and i'm also wondering at like a higher player count like I say, a four-player game, you're going to go through all the tiles most likely before it even gets back around to you. Oh, and then something else that I like in the game is that they went ahead and made this big token of, like, Master Quilter, so you can, like, put it on your prized possession of your quilt. And guess who usually wins the Master Quilter? Bryce does. <laughs> but I still like this game, okay? <laughs> all right, so moving on, what are your final thoughts about this game? I like it a lot. I like that there's a lot of strategy to it, even though luck can sometimes get in the way. But there's a lot of different things you can do. You can go for different patterns, you can go for different colors. And like you said, there's always those extra spaces um, on the sides. So you can go, f you know, you can kind of cycle through some bad tiles in hopes to finish the main objectives that you're going for. And I like how the objectives, you can either go for color or go for pattern or both. <laughs> So if you're really trying to push your luck, you go for both. But if things are breaking down, you can still go for one or the other. That is true. So yeah, I, I really enjoy this game. It is very thinky. And for me, I like want to do everything. So I like set out the plan. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to go for the design and the color. And then you get to like three-fourths of the way through the game. You're like, no, I can't do this. And so you have to decide what's going to be worth it and which pattern, you know, where. Um, so yeah, it's really hard for the person who wants to be the completionist and do it all because it's rare that you can do all or even most of it. But um, I love all the little different buttons too. So you feel like you're getting little goals along the way. You're like, yay, I've got some points. Um, but yeah, I think it's just a fantastic little thinky game. Like it looks all cutesy and everything, but it's, it's a lot of strategic planning in this. Um, so it is, it is a family friendly thing, but it's definitely geared towards the gamers who are thinky and really looking to get big points. Yeah, and and like you said, it is family friendly. Like I feel like we could teach this to just about anybody and they could pick it up, but how well they do is a different story. So I think it can appeal to the gamers who really want to think a lot of things through and try the, you know, to get the most points or whatever but you can also play it in a family setting. Definitely. All right, so that's Calico. We both really enjoy this game. It's very beautiful and it's very strategic and definitely hits the, the mark for families and gamers alike. Uh, it's another partnership with AEG and Flat Out Games and they are on fire with everything they put out. So Calico is just another one onto that list. And if you want to attract a cute animal into your life, be sure to like and subscribe and follow us on Instagram. So, I'm Bryce. I'm Allison. And we're Better Half Reviews. Happy gaming. Have fun. Nah.